I want to very briefly demonstrate the difference between markup and margin and also the correlation between markup and margin. So to start with, I want to read an extract, two extracts from Wikipedia, one explaining markup, one explaining margin, and then show you some examples. So markup is the difference between the selling price of a good or service and cost. It is often expressed as a percentage over the cost. A markup is added into the total cost incurred by the producer of a good or service in order to cover the costs of doing business and create a profit. Margin is the difference between revenue and cost of goods sold divided by revenue. So to simplify that, it's very simply profit divided by revenue and again is often expressed as a percentage. So the key difference between these two is one of them is based on cost, one of them is based on sales revenue. So let's have a look how markup and margin are correlated. 10% markup will always be 9.09% .09 margin. 100% markup will always be 50% margin. Now, from this example, you can see how dangerous it could be if you don't know the difference between the two. So if you're trying to achieve a 33% margin, for example, and you mistakenly add 33% markup, then you, you're making more like a 23% margin. So this is really important that you understand when you are pricing items up to sell, you will normally frequently use the markup. You will, use a, you will add a markup to an item, but that markup doesn't necessarily mean that's the margin that you're going to make. Now to really simplify what markup, the difference between markup and margin, markup is what you add to an item. Margin is what you keep. So let's use the 100% markup as an example. The cost price is 100 pound and you mark it up 100%. So 100% 100 of 100 is 100 pound. Therefore, the sale price is 200, but you only get to keep 50% of the 200 pound. That is how margin works. So I hope that clears it up. They are directly correlated. If you, in your business plan, you understand what margin you want to achieve, you can achieve that margin by using markup. So markup is very simply a tool that is used to achieve a particular margin. Any questions, please let me know. Thank you.